what I would like to see for the future for our elementary kids, you know, years down the road have kids be like, I chose a STEM career because of what, of the passion that was brought to me when I was little. It's a fun job and I like seeing the kids grow. I work for K through four, developing lesson plans and fun activities for STEM. <laughs> oh, I love it, it's so fun. We write um, the programming for the STEM classes as well as coach the people who are teaching the classes and then they take it from there and then we just come assist as needed. I just wanna be able to spark those little passions within kids. I love going into a classroom in our district and being able to say, hey, do you guys remember when we did this last week? And whether I was in that classroom last week or not, they know exactly what I'm talking about because all of our schools are doing the same thing. I really like when we can see all the kids progressing from one skill to the next. If I know we're doing robots in kindergarten and we're also doing them in third grade, they're different robots, so they've learned the skills. We can make their connections with what they're doing in their classroom, um, and it's just a hands-on way of them being able to do that. Knowing that they are being exposed to it so early on, that lets us know, like, okay, we know that every kid has gotten this experience here in the youngest grades, and then we can build on it the next year. Getting kids, even the youngest ones, to be able to work together and to cooperate is a lesson they need to learn. I like that they're being made to work together and learn how to work through that frustration of, we have different ideas, but we can work together to come up with a final product. Even the things that we're doing with the fourth graders this year we wouldn't have ever been able to do last year because we've built on that knowledge. And so knowing that they're being exposed so young lets us know that we have a large future for these kids. Sometimes they're super excited. Uh, like when we brought in pig hearts and they got to dissect that, that was very exciting. Some kids crossed out, sure. Uh, worms, they all loved that. Everything that we do, we try to be as hands-on as possible, so they love that. It's always something that's fully engaging for the kids. When they get to do the hands-on part of it, then they get real stoked and they're like, okay, now we know why we had to have that previous lesson. When I first started here in Avon, there were two buildings that had STEM and the rest of them didn't. It's been nice to be able to come together as, as a corporation and do the same things so that all the kids are getting the same things. But now knowing that all kids are experiencing it and knowing that we can move forward in that, in that way is really important. I tell them to keep their options open. Don't force your kid to follow one path. My biggest advice is just hone in on those passions. There are activities that they can do through 4-H. There's activities that um, the school provides over the summers. We have Camp Invention that's available to students that are interested in STEM activities. You know, eventually I'd like to start more clubs here at the elementary level that we could do, but there's amazing clubs in the high school and middle schools and things like that. So just finding where your kid's passionate and plugging forward.